All right, hello guys, this is Total Red Lion and I'm Corbin. We're out at the park with the Civic SI right over there. He has it kind of tuned up. He has an exhaust, I know that, muffler back. And the reason I'm reviewing this is I heard it on the road and it's surprisingly fast. Also, it's a manual, so that's good. Let's meet the man behind the camera. So we got the man here, Brandon, and then Civic SI. It's a pearl white, I believe. Let me show you first what's stock and what's not. So we have a carbon fiber like thing on the gas cap here. So that's definitely uh, aftermarket. Wheels are stock, however. He did do the brake calipers red. And then we have the back here with the GoPro. Get some GoPro footage soon. Let's get an interior. Is this the carbon fiber stock? Yes. All right, so he has a carbon fiber option. That's pretty cool. Here's your shift knob. More carbon fiber, I dig it. You got your red lining, leather seats, leather in the back, uh, and then SI mats. All right, that's a pretty, pretty good interior. And this is almost like a manual daily driver. It's kind of like a little bit of a sleeper also, so. He's planning on getting a cold air intake right here, but right now it's just the stock throttle body. And then uh, it's also tuned for the stock one. And here you go. Here's, I guess, the main word of the car, VTEC. <clears throat> and then this means dual overhead Cam. cams. Mm -hmm. 2.4 liter. Um, you don't have too much space to work on it, but like you have like. A... Oh no! If I, I, you have a lot of space. You just have to take this off. It's oh, okay. not that hard. We have to take that off to work yeah, it's, on it. It's those. just a couple clips, and I've been all I've right. done that, and you get all the. It's not that bad. All right. Well, let's just get in this and see what it's all about. All right. All right. So we're gonna get in said SI and uh, oh all right interior feels pretty good when you're in it it's not like gripping you to the seats but it's still you can feel some support there so yeah from the interior unless you're hitting VTEC it's pretty quiet which is a good thing so you can drive it normally So trunk space. My car tarp. Uh, you could fit two bodies in there. Yeah, just a couple, you know. One thing I think that's pretty cool about this, you have your touchscreen um, volume control right here. So, all right, then you have your different options here. Also, look right here. I think that looks so cool. Yeah, and that then, uh, that's that also tells you when you hit VTEC right up there. You see the IVTEC indicator. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah. It lets you know when you're in VTEC and uh, that's awesome. It's working. Let you know when the VTEC hits. All right, yeah. that's sick. No, no, that's... no, no. There you go. You can let your foot all the way off the clutch, dude. I did it. Yep. Damn. Hondas are easier to. They're really okay, good. We shipping. have to come to a stop, anyways. So. Yeah. Wasn't that easy? Put it back into neutral. Yeah. You could leave it right there. That, yep. That's a neutral. Okay. Yep. You can put your foot can, off the clutch yeah, without yeah. stalling. Okay, good. There you go. Okay. Okay, now sh shove shove the clutch in, pull it right down, and then let it out really quick. There you go. Oh, there you go. Giving a little bit of gas. Very torquey. Goodness. I didn't even <laughs> hit it because I didn't want to screw anything up, but... 
<laughs> that was like what? Not even 50%? <laughs> Okay, this is easy to drive, yes. For a manual, it's very smooth. Don't you think the clutch is really light compared to... This clutch is beautiful. I know, it, it's very forgiving. You have 50,000 miles on it, right? Yep. 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 <laughs> well, as a driver, I've actually officially can review this. Let me get the steering test. Steering's like a good eight out of 10 for a sedan, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm back in the passenger seat. Thanks to Brandon for letting me drive manual. He's doing much better than I did. Yep, I saw the V-Tech. Yeah. That's a zero to 60 in about five. About five, five-ish. Five, five. You could take on a V6 possibly, like an older V, like oh, a- Oh no, this thing, this thing will beat um, EcoBoost uh, Mustangs. Really? Like, not the newer ones, but the, some of the older ones it will. There's a VTEC, you can see that. A little Corvette. This thing has a cool feature where when you signal it uh, does the... I can also manually turn it on. Alright, so my afterthoughts of the Honda Civic Si, um, it definitely, you could feel a boost with the tune, I believe, um, but the, the VTEC is really, really fun in this. Uh, I think it's like really my first time going that fast with VTEC, and um, this definitely has a good exhaust system. So now on to the rating system. I would rate the daily drivability of this. It is a manual, but if you like manual as a daily driver, I mean, it could easily go for a seven out of 10. It's definitely, the clutch is nice, the interior is beautiful, um, and it's fairly light, um, like weight wise. I'd say it's lighter than most cars. Uh, so performance wise with the tune, it's probably in, the, in its class, obviously. Uh, we're talking like a good seven and a half out of 10. Um, he can tune it up more. That's why I say that. He can tune it. To, he can tune it to a nine easy. Um, and then finally, like drivability. I just drove it around the neighborhood, and the for me to be able to drive it that easy, it's definitely like good beginner's car as well. Um, so it's something that can carry you from like your beginner all the way to like your experienced years, um, and you won't get bored with it. That's good. And then you always can get it higher horsepower and stuff like that. All right, so I think we're about done filming here. Uh, thank you, Brandon, for allowing me to film here. Um, and we're going to get a smoothie now, so peace. Now, here's the second thing I don't know how to do. Downshifting. <laughs> but I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try that. But yeah, that's, um, a little... that's something I'll work on um, in a different video. When, so if I were to downshift, I just have to rev match it to that same rev, right? It's a little complicated, but you just rev up, and then. But since you're at low RPMs, it's easy to do. Can uh, I try? Yeah, just rev it up, and then just, there you go. Oh, yep. You, I was. What did that do? You, uh, you jammed it in. Basically, the, they weren't going at the same speed, so you jerked, like the clutch and the engine. They're going at different speeds. Oh, and you stalled. It's not. In it's not in neutral. No. Good luck. So the main moral of the story is make sure it's in neutral because I, I was doing everything perfectly fine. I'm like, oh yeah, the first time I haven't stalled it. And then at the very end, 
I put it in second with a clutch in, and then I wiggled it around, and it still wiggled. So I thought it was a neutral, but apparently neutral, it wiggles a lot, a lot more. Um, and so when I let off the clutch, it just stalled, and I was like, I didn't have any time to do anything. I was just like, well, that's not neutral. <laughs> put it in race mode, bro. Race mode. I'm about to put it in race mode, guys. That's definitely what the R on a shift knob means. If you don't drive manual, you'll believe that. Um, 